You've taken a long way up from there, from those underling days and the test kitchen, which is now booked down for months in advance, and, and rightly so. But when it started off, it maybe wasn't looking quite that promising. You'd done really well at La Colombe, but there was a, a, a lot of investment you had to make. You'd mortgaged your house. You, you put a lot onto pulling this off and, uh, and making sure that it worked. Absolutely. Yeah, it was a big gamble. I mean, we, when I was at La Colombe, we got to number 12 on the top 50 list. And I, I actually think we were cooking good food. We were also cooking something that was a bit different at the time. I got this um, opportunity to cook in Joburg for um, Sony. They, they were one of the sponsors for the World Cup and they had Shakira playing and, and, and um, they said, do you want to come and cook? And, and it was for a thousand people or something. It was horrible. It was like everything I hate about the, the industry, you know, just mass catering. And, uh, but they offered me like a nice chunk of change to do it with and oh, okay. so I I jumped at it and um, and then my wife said now now's your chance you can leave La Colombe because you've got enough to tide us by for the next two or three months and um, and so we we remortgaged or sold um, a property that we had bought whilst we were in Asia in Plettenberg Plettenberg Bay and I used all that money and I borrowed 250,000 from a friend and um, and basically put everything on the line and um, opened the test kitchen. And everyone said, you're, you're mad. What are you doing opening in a warehouse in Woodstock, which is traditionally not the friendliest place in the world, and least of all at night. And um, I remember just before we opened, these two guys that I know quite well from the market, from the neighbor goods market came in. And they were like, yeah, this looks great, Luke, but who's going to come like that? And I was like, well. Why are you telling me this now? <laughs> you know, I'm just about to open the doors. Like, just give me a vote of confidence, you know. And um, but it worked out well. We were full from the first day. We had 24 seats on the first night, um, and then we grew and shrunk and grew and shrunk. And uh, but we, we're lucky we've been full, you know, every night that that we've been open since then. So that's an extraordinary statistic. Full every night. You've been open. That's that just doesn't happen with restaurants. That's I know. Where's the wood? I need to touch wood. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> like I feel. I feel. I've. You know. Like. Yeah. Anyway, well, I'll uh, touch my head. It's <laughs> a wood in there, eh? Yeah. <laughs>